Hi everyone, I am Naharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Well, we all visit new places, right? We go on vacations, we get to see new places, we get to stroll along the streets, sip on wine, uh, look at scenic beauties. So yes, that is when we go visit new places. Now, when you come back, people would ask you, hey, how was your holiday? Or how was the place? How was Germany? How was India? So we need some descriptive words that would help us to describe the city or the town or the country that we visited. So in this lesson, we are going to look at some adjectives to describe places. So next time you go on a holiday and when you come back, you know what to say. Or even if it's not a holiday, even if you go for your work purpose or for business, you can come back and talk about the city or the country that you visited. So the very first adjective that you can use for a city which is very historic, which has a long history, is the word ancient. Okay, so like Egypt. Okay, um, the country is absolutely ancient. So it means it's very historic. It has a long history. Okay, so that's another adjective that you can use for a city or for a country which has uh, a long history. Okay, the next one, attractive. A very simple adjective that you can use for most of the cities and countries. Attractive is um, a city or a country which is absolutely a treat to your eyes, which means it's beautiful, okay, it's lovely, and it's very pleasant for your eyes. Okay, so um, there are so many cities which are so beautiful, so attractive. Uh, let's pick up anything. Um, let's pick up uh, uh, Agra, okay? Agra is a city in India and Agra has Taj Mahal. So Agra is um, absolutely attractive or it's uh, lovely, it's beautiful. Okay, so these are the adjectives that you can uh, used to describe a beautiful city. The next one, bustling. Okay, bustling. It means a city which is very crowded. Very crowded, very busy. A city that never sleeps. So, uh, New York. Yeah, New York is a great example. Uh, that's a city that never sleeps. It's quite a bustling city or Mumbai. Mumbai for that matter. Mumbai is also a very busy and a very, very crowded city. So places like New York or Mumbai are the cities that never sleep. They're very crowded, okay? The moment you step out of your apartment or your hotel, um, you would see so many people, a lot of traffic, and, uh, and very busy, okay? People are just running around. So that means the city is quite bustling, right? The next one, contemporary. Contemporary, uh, well, it's a perfect adjective for a city which is very modern and up-to-date. Okay, like uh, Manchester. Okay, Manchester uh, gives you a very contemporary feel. It's very modern. Okay, it's a very up-to-date city, right? So this is another adjective that you can use for cities like Singapore, Manchester. Okay, they're very modern. The next one, lively. Well, a city which is very vibrant. So, uh, I'm sorry, it's vibrant. Again, New York is a very vibrant city, right? Uh, it, it's also said that New York is a city that never sleeps. So either you can use the word lively or you can also use the word bustling, but different meanings. Lively is some, uh, a city which is very vibrant, but bustling is very crowded and very busy. So yes, uh, lively is uh, used for a city which is alive, okay, which is very vibrant. And like, uh, for example, 
the nightlife of Mumbai is very lively. Okay, so that's how you can use the adjective. The next one, dull. Mm. You visit a place which is boring, has no life. Then that city is pretty dull. You know, there are some towns in Europe uh, where the life is pretty boring. Uh, or maybe when you go countryside, okay, the countryside is always very dull and very boring. It's not like um, the city life. It's completely different, right? So maybe for some uh, towns um, or some places which are located at the countryside can be dull. Okay, so dull is a little boring or a city without any life okay but at times people do like to go to dull places okay so it's okay when you just want to relax and you want to be away from the traffic from bustling cities then people do like going to these dull places the next one picturesque okay that's how you pronounce it picturesque picturesque is um, a city which is absolutely charming charming in a very unusual way so um, city like Istanbul okay uh, Istanbul is in Turkey so Istanbul is picturesque it's absolutely charming and it's again a treat to your eyes so this is another adjective that you can use for charming beautiful cities and then the last one touristic touristic is uh, a place a uh, city or a country which is very busy uh, with tourists okay it's always very crowded and especially during the holiday season you would spot a lot of tourists visiting that place um, touristic can be uh, goa goa which is located in india okay it's a state but uh, goa is a very very touristic place people love going to goa uh, and uh, in fact the whole economy is dependent on uh, tourists so a place like Goa and which is very crowded during the holiday season okay so these are the adjectives that would help you to talk about the places that you visit use them because we all travel let me know the last place that you visited and use one of these adjectives to describe it right I'll be back with a new lesson till then you take care and have a great day bye bye